Iris just is, as, as far as I can see. And there's all sorts of possibilities of where she came from, who she is, is she really from every part of the North? You just don't know. That's the wonderful thing about Iris. It means that when you're writing stories about her, she can come from anywhere at any time. We don't know how old she is. We do know that she is a time traveler you know, a writer of wrongs and a wronger of rights. And she dashes around the universe or the multiverse in a number 22 Putney bus with a nice little bar in the back for those days when she needs a little tipple. And, uh, and now we've come back with a whole new format of Iris in half hour stories, which I think is perfect for Iris. And I'm going to have quite a lot of new companions playing Iris. I love playing Iris. Um, yeah, what's been interesting about getting to play Captain Turner for me is uh, this is the biggest role I've done on a Big Finish um, series on a show. Uh, I've always felt a bit of a sort of session musician coming in and doing this or doing that, which has been lovely because I've got to play all sorts of different people in different shows and stuff. And so this is the first time I've got to play um, who is basically the sidekick to a lead, which is really nice and um, sort of, you know, more scope to show different sides of the one character, his comedy side, his honourable side, his action hero side. So that's been great, really, isn't it? Lovely, yeah. And anybody who's going to come back and listen to the wonderful Iris, you're going to have all sorts of fascinating scorches are going to reappear. There's going to be Iris doing her murder mystery. And so she's going to be coming back sort of being a super sleuth. <laughs> and there's a very, very touching story by Paul Mars. Um, and the lovely thing with Iris is you do have to go from very high camp and yet you go to quite deep emotional moments. It's, it's, there's some great stories and we have some of the best actors you could possibly imagine. I mean, this is a really is. I've been so blessed with a number of actors that are just brilliant. I will name them, but we don't have time. I've been having great fun today in the studio. Um, getting to work with Katie Manning at last. I have never worked with her. So we've known each other for years, keep bumping into each other at conventions and things, but we've never actually worked together. So uh, Katie is, of course, giving her wonderful Iris Wild time. And in great contrast to that, I'm giving my lady Fothergill. Um, and then I'm getting the joy of working with David Warner, who I've been a fan of for many years. Um, Lisa Bowman, who I love and adore. And, of course, the lovely Jeff. So I'm having... A very gorgeous time. We've been having a lot of fun doing it. I think and hope everyone will have a lot of fun listening to it. The, the recording's been going really well today. Uh, it's it's actually really nice to come in and do something that's a little bit different because obviously I'm, I'm very spoiled because not only do I do um, Bernice and also uh, Ellie in Jago and Lightfoot, but uh, I, I put a little request out just going, I see if there's anything else that comes along. So two more different characters you couldn't get today. So uh, it's it's been brilliant and I've really enjoyed it. You can really have a, a play, play with them, really good fun. But the, the whole style of this range is, is really quite broad and, and the opportunity just to have um, an excuse to, do I say over the top? I'm never going to say over the top, but the excuse to go that far with something is you can just go to, go to town on it. And uh, that's what I've done with Hilda. I've worked with Katie a couple of times before, um, not only with her as Iris Wildtine. In fact, her, her first appearance, I think, as Iris Wildtine uh, was in a Bernie Summerfield. So I know just how versatile this lady is. Um, but her Iris is now so well honed and so well settled in that it's, it's a sort of second nature. What a great character. It's great. My darling Scott Hancock has, you know, really gathered some great scripts together. And if you've never heard Iris, I really, really, really think that you owe it to yourself just to give her a listen. It really is something very different. And once you hear her, I think you'll start to, and the stories and all these wonderful actors, I think you'll become a huge Iris fan. You better. <laughs> or I'm coming to get you.